Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, whenever I announce giveaways, I think there's one going on right now, and of course, whenever I go live. As always, if you're already subscribed thank you so much for being here and welcome back I do really appreciate all of your continued support today is fun because I am revisiting a box that hasn't been here on the channel for probably about a year and that is a wild spirit they have since changed up the box just a little bit but it still has that boho style and I have always been on the lookout for a perfect monthly or seasonal boho subscription that has those like natural vibes it's got organic I Items. and Wild Spirit really seemed like that was going to fit the bill back in the day but I was trying to work out a referral program with them because obviously opening as many subscription boxes as I do especially when my channel first started I had to have some referral programs in place to make it financially stable for me on my end but they are very very busy this is a family business and so they just didn't get back to me and I kind of let it go um, just based on some of the suggestions from you guys in the comments but recently I think they saw some of the comments on a video like I said from about a year ago and they reached out to me and basically said that they wanted me to give it a try again and do another review so I'm happy to share Wild Spirit with you today it is $38.75 per month that does include the shipping so I think that's a pretty good deal these days in the monthly subscription box world especially if this kind of fits your style and vibe and they have given me a referral code for you so that is Noel 20 and that will save you 20%. So let's go ahead and see what they've got in this box that they were kind enough to send to me for review. So I did not pay for this box, although I was subscribed for several months a year ago. Now they have one of the coolest features out of any subscription boxes. And that is that if there is an item in that box that just doesn't really fit your vibe, you can actually exchange it for free, which I think is so awesome. And I did actually use that that once before when I was subscribed and I even one time saw like a spoiler for one of the items over on Instagram and I just let them know ahead of time if they could replace that with something else that that would be great and they were totally willing to do that so I think that that is such a unique and awesome feature to make sure that you're really getting your money's worth and getting a curation that you really love so let's go ahead and look inside see some of the changes that have occurred over the past year so here is the uh, this is what the box looks like again so it's got these like hand gestures again you have those kind of like natural vibes there with a, a moon and a sun and it's I think that's a cactus there in the middle um, so let's see oh crystals they're crystals but they kind of look like a little saguaro to me it says I attract love success freedom and health into my life so a little positive affirmation there um, so it just says to reach us directly there's their website if you need or want to replace anything you can do it but it does have to be within seven days of receiving the box totally totally fair it says thank you for being part of our wild spirit box family this is our family business and our kids help us a lot I think that's so cool they've got three kiddos no wonder they were so busy together we have the power to share these items at wholesale prices and we are changing people's lives we're constantly trying to find ways to make our boxes even better and we always welcome any feedback or ideas so I do definitely appreciate that um, so again this is not necessarily like a value box where you're gonna get like 10 10 times the value of what you pay for it but know that they are a small business they're often working with a lot of small businesses often ones with great give back stories so keep that in mind sometimes I feel like the comparisons that people make when they're like well with this box I get this value I think it's like a little unfair you know so let's see it looks like we have five items they don't include the individual retail values but we'll just kind of have to suss out if we think that it is worth that and again do remember that that monthly cost does include the shipping which is kind of unheard of these days so I'm gonna prop this up in front of me so that I can tell you a little bit more about it, but this is kind of what the product card looks like. It's just like a little paragraph for each of the items. So hopefully I can prop that up without it falling down. Okay, so the right on top, it looks like we've got a little item. So it's a pretty small box. So I do, I do remember thinking that sometimes they were a little bit limited by the box size. So this is a Kanta hip bag, otherwise known as a fanny pack, but I guess we're calling them hip bags these days because they're a little bit cooler. Um, I actually really like this. So 
it says eco-friendly designs to keep traditions alive greener planet and fair wages oh i love that kanta is the ancient tradition of recycling well-worn vintage saris using a simple all-over running stitch two or three recycled saris are quilted together dead stock denim is also rescued from landfills and used in robust designs to create a unique look while being earth friendly uh, fair trade products like the one you're holding help artisans and communities carry on centuries old traditions your choice makes a difference so it's a fanny pack which i'm totally okay with so the back side is that recycled denim love it and then here we have it's almost this like ecot pattern here on the front with this nice zipper and it's like a red zipper i kind of i'm kind of vibing with this i feel like this would be like great for a festival or a concert it is so nice to be hands-free it's kind of that like broader one so i know a lot of people are wearing them like over the shoulder to keep your bag kind of close to your body which is kind of feels a little bit safer it's got this nice buckle on the back i'm actually really into the pattern there are probably some pattern variations but the fact that they gave me this kind of more neutral like earthy one totally into um ooh, the lining is cool too <laughs> look on the other side you guys it's got this really pretty blue lining i'm super into this it's not gonna like hold a lot because it is just a single um compartment actually this would have been great the other day i just went to a baseball game and they kind of changed their bag rolls and they were like it had to be 10 by 7 and a single compartment and i was like what bags are single compartment these days like even purses have multiple compartments but this is a single compartment i could fit a lot of stuff in here so pretty cool um so this is by minga imports says so this beautiful fair trade item is handmade in Bangladesh. Kanta is an ancient style of embroidery in the eastern regions of South Asia. These bags are great for hiking, shopping, exploring, and traveling, keeping your items conveniently accessible. Minga works directly with the artisans who made these and ensures that they're paid fairly and able to provide for their families. We are proud to work with companies like Minga and help make a difference around the world. Thank you for your purchase. You helped make this possible. Totally into that. This is like a great item. So all right, way to come back strong, Wild Spirit. Um, cool. The next thing I'm seeing is a jewelry piece, I think. So let's open this up. There's like a card. So it looks like it's one of those like open-ended ones. Hold on, hold on. There's a charm in there that's kind of causing some congestion. So it is a feather necklace. So let's go ahead and look at that pendant. It almost looks like like bone with a gold uh, rib down the center. That's really pretty spine down the center. And then these almost look like seeds. I think these are those beads that are made out of paper. Um, and the color is like stunning. So let's see. Oh, it's just, um, let's see. It's got like a toggle clasp. It's not one of the open ones, but I love that it's so long. So you could actually wrap it around your neck several times for more of a layered look. So it's one of these like toggle closures, which I actually like really like because they're super easy to get on yourself. You could wear this as a wrap bracelet for sure. You could go like really chunky with it because it'd probably go around your wrist like 10 or 15 times. So let's see, it says, these necklaces are created in partnership with Street Business School, a sister organization of Bead for Life in Uganda. Part of the proceeds of this necklace benefits our upcoming school in Kenya. The paper beads are rolled by hand using print overruns and advertisements painted and hung to dry before being strung together. Most of the paper in these beads were from an internet company in Kenya. George creates the feather, which is carved by hand and inlaid with a brass wire. Gold ha George has recently been able to save funds from his artisan work to purchase his own land in Kenya. And again, this is part of the great grain of rice project this is so pretty i love this kind of like dark um almost like burnt orange color of these paper beads i love the shape of them and i think the feather is really cool and of course if you didn't want the feather on there like if you were just going to use this as a bracelet you could probably take that charm off pretty easily but it's actually really pretty so and it totally goes totally goes with my hip pack so i'm gonna have to find myself a festival to go to I'm super into that. Oh, I should probably read what it says on the card. All pieces are handmade by artisans in Kenya. These artisans are taught beading, basketry, or sewing and take part in a life skills training program. Each morning during this time, they learn essential skills to improve their standard of living, living, budgeting, savings, goal setting, resume writing, leadership, parenting, and healthy living. Because of programs like this, women have been able to make a living, purchase land on their own, and escape a life of poverty. All right, so here we have some uh, definitely like boho vibes and I'm not mad about it. So we have a sage stick, a smudge stick with some like status flower in there, which is just makes it a little bit prettier. 
I, I love sage smudge sticks. So um, little known fact, I kind of like grew up like having some new agey influences back in the day, even though I grew up as a Christian, but I kind of like love some of that. Um, like I love the smell of incense and sage and like I think crystals are beautiful, even though it's not like necessarily something that I incorporate into my own spirituality today. I, I just think it's beautiful and it smells amazing and I love the intention of like cleansing. So Native Americans and other indigenous peoples have burned sage for centuries as a part of a spiritual ritual to cleanse a person or space and promote healing and wisdom through scientifically unproved, though scientifically unproven, burning sage is thought to release negative ions. This is said to help neutralize positive ions. Common positive ions are allergens like pet dander, pollution, dust, and mold. If this is the case, burning sage may be a blessing for those with asthma, allergies, bronchitis, and other respiratory conditions. Wait until the smoke clears before going into the room. Yes, little, <laughs> little asterisk there, but, uh, smells good. I like it. I think it's just kind of a nice thing to have and you just like you just light it a little bit kind of like incense but not like to the point where there's a giant flame and you just get that nice lovely like sage smoke going and then you can kind of like um, mute it with by putting it in like a nice bowl so it's kind of a nice thing to do with any of your like really pretty ceramic bowls that you want to have out. So love that into it. All right, it looks like we have also got a dream catcher, super duper cool. So it just came in some plastic. Wow, they really got like a kind of a color palette going with this box, I appreciate. The most common meaning of the dream catcher originating from the Native American Ojibwe tribe is that it filters the bad dreams away, protecting you from evil and negativity. You can always use that. Ojibwe people believe that the night air is fill, full of dreams, good and bad. The dream catcher was created to capture all the dreams all the good dreams, I'm assuming, and filter out the bad ones. The good dreams find their way through the center of the circle while the bad get caught and disappear with the first sign of daylight. So this is really lovely. So it is wrapped in suede and you can see the wooden beads. I love that it's more of the natural feathers. Like sometimes you see this with the like dyed feathers, but these are, are natural. I do need to kind of like straighten them. I might like have to, I don't know how to like straighten feathers. I was going to say steam them, but I, then I feel like the little fluffy parts would get a little bit matted down, but I think this is really pretty and again I kind of have an affinity to Native American culture just because of the people that I knew growing up and I think it's a really nice like sweet little thing. It's not necessarily like my kind of home decor because I like to be like more clean line like modern almost like minimalist but um, I think this is like small enough that it could probably go in a little corner in my bedroom or something or I could gift it to someone or I could even put it on a rear view mirror but I think it's really lovely and it's I wish I knew a little bit more about the uh, maker I think I bought one once upon a time when I was somewhere in the southwest somewhere in Arizona and I was like really attracted to it because it said the Native American uh, maker the artisan who created the dream catcher and he actually had the same last name as me which I thought was really really cool so um, I think we have one more item in here. Where did it go? So it says that there is supposed to be a crystal in here, an amethyst crystal, which I am looking for. Amethyst is like one of my favorites. And so this is a, this whole box is kind of like bringing me back to uh, parts of my childhood. So there used to be like a really cool import shop and they had all kinds of beautiful like silver jewelry and crystals. And I remember like getting to pick one out and my, my hot little child finger like went to this big chunk of amethyst and purple is one of my favorite colors and um, so we did get this little amethyst crystal not like super big um, but I do have a few other like pieces that this will probably like nest nicely on again I don't necessarily uh, see crystals as something that have natural properties or like healing properties I'm not someone who like recharges my crystals like in the full moonlight I'm not, nothing against people who do, but I don't feel like they have superpowers <laughs> imbued within them. I do think that they can be nice talismans, touchstones. I think they're gorgeous and just like indicative of the beautiful world that we are so lucky to live on. I think these look really pretty and like plants and stuff too. So, um, it says the spiritual meaning of amethyst is groundedness, tranquility, and calm. Amethyst is said to promote inner peace, dispel negative energy, stimulate creative energy, and help with stress. So if that ma makes sense to you, if that's something that you really feel that energy from an amethyst crystal, all power to you. Or if you just kind of like have it as that 
reminder, you know, on your desk or in a piece of jewelry or like in a plant, what, like I said, and you just remember that it is really representing that groundedness and tranquility and calm, I think that it can have that effect, right? Because we can manifest and create those sort of those vibes. So if it's a good reminder for you, then absolutely, that's a great use for crystals. And that's kind of how I incorporate them into my life. So Overall though, I have to say, this is a uh, way better wild spirit than what I last remember. I feel like on my last one, I just didn't feel like it was stuff that I would necessarily use. Um, and I didn't feel like it seemed as cohesive as for example, this particular box does. So well done. And I, I feel like I would love to open another one of these. Please let me know in the comments below since we know the uh, family at Wild Spirits reading the comments every once in a while. If you would like me to continue opening this for a little bit so we can get a little bit more more of a sense of the box. I definitely think it was worth the cost of it just uh, with the jewelry piece and the hip pack and the the mandala the dream catcher alone absolutely so great items the crystal and the sage stick not necessarily like super high value items but certainly beautiful and I really I really liked this box I thought they did a great job with it um, so thank you again to Wild Spirit for giving me this opportunity to try your box again uh, remember to use the code Noel20 if you would like some natural natural boho um great organic <laughs> vibes and also some supporting some small businesses that uh support communities around the world i think it's a a great uh give back story that they included with a couple of these companies hopefully i'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing